Welcome back to Thingford and pleased to be joined by Joe Levy. Joe, it's been two winners for you so far this season and we're talking more detail about those in a moment, but for your first full season as an apprentice, it's been a, a very good start for you. Yes, it has. It's been, a, it's been a lovely start, you know, getting lots of experience, building some nice connections along the way, which is all you can ask for really, learning the tracks, learning different horses, you know, it's, it's been really good. Talk about your first win, Dodgy Bob at Wolverhampton, start of the year. It was a massive price, I think, 66 to 1. He wasn't expected to win very much, go from the front and he just stayed there. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's something, something happened that day. You know, he just never stopped. I couldn't believe it. He set a lovely eye in front, and he, the moment he kicked, he's picked up, and he's not stopped. Really, nothing came to me. So, you know, he's a good old horse. You know, he's he's done that before quite a few times. I think that was his seventh win. He's gone on and done it again at 40 to one since. You know, so yeah, yeah look, it's great. It's a great way, especially to have a winner, and you know, don't surprise it. I think that's it's an, an added bonus, really. And of course, Mass School as well. Harry Evans has been good to you. Getting them outside connections for any apprentice is, 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 is pivotal, really. Mass School, two starts ago as eye-catching, and he very much coped on a smaller handicap, smaller field, and won a bit, fair bit in hand in the end. He did, yes. You know, he's a lovely horse. He tries his best. And I still think the way he won at, um, the way he won at Nottingham, he really felt like he had more left in the tank and had gone again from it. And he did that really nicely at Newbury there. I think it was six, five, six days after he won at Nottingham, stepping off and stretched, that stretched him a little bit. I think when he comes back down to mile two, there's definitely more races in him. He's a horse on the up, definitely. And of course, you had your first Ascot at Wallaball, Divas Boy in the Apprentice Handicap. It's always great for any apprentice to ride at such a big track. It's always good for your development too. Yeah, it is. You know, once, once you jumped out the stalls, I looked off at the straight mile and it was a real, a real buzz. You know, it's the place you want to be. Ascot and the good or them good tracks, you know, it's what, you, it's what you dream about. And to actually there, it was a real surreal moment for me. And Richard, your boss, Richard Hannon, how good's he been to you? got some nice young jockeys in the yard. Alec, Tyrese, you're all doing very well. So it must be a good camaraderie in, that, in the yard at the moment. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's, it keeps your, keeps your work ethic up. You know, it's very competitive, so you want to be the best. So, you know, it keeps you up, keeps your work ethic up. And I think once, you know, you, you, lots, of, lots of opportunities come out of that. And you just got to take them where you can to prove yourself. And just finally, if you feel shades your agent, of course, we think the thing was associated with Harry Davis, Trevor Whelan. To have such a good experienced agent behind you, you can get you on some nice rides, must be a uh, very good to have. Yeah, Spiller's done very well for me, you know. He's done really well, and, and like I'm trying my best to pull my part, and he's doing an amazing job of helping me get out there and get seen. Like, like you said, so a lovely connection with Ian Williams, James Evans. Um, you know, it's all you can ask for, really. He's doing a brilliant job, and please may continue. Good, yep, cheers.